All right, guys, in this video, we're going to do the same thing, except I'm going to show you guys the settings that you guys would use for creating like a web size export. Okay, so let's do the same thing. Let's pop, select the same image, pop back into our export dialog box. And what I'm going to do for simplicity's sake is I'm going to select that SLR image print sized uh, preset that we set up because for the most part, most everything is right in that. We're just going to change a few settings. So what I want to do right here is I want to put it in a different subfolder. So I'm going to select 02 web size this time. Okay. Now I'm going to go down, file renaming, everything else is fine, but for the file settings I want it to be different. because I'm going to use this for web and for email. I'm going to reduce this to 80% quality. Um, JPEG, that's fine. sRGB, everything else is fine. Image sizing though I need to change because remember the last one we kept it in print size. This time I want to reduce the resolution to a web, to a screen resolution which is 72 pixels per inch. And I want it to resize because I don't want it to be that full size that's going to be huge still if I don't change the, uh, the, the pixel dimensions. So I'm just going to change this to long edge and then on the long edge I want it to be no more than say 700 pixels. Alright, output sharpening. I do want it to sharpen on output because I want it to sharpen for the screen and I want it to be high because I want it to look, remember on the screen you have a lot less pixels per inch so I, I need a little bit of additional sharpening to make sure that image looks crisp when it's on the screen. Metadata, that's fine. Um, watermarking. Well, let's use that little craptastic one size fits all preset that we made previously. That's fine. Post processing, I want to show it to me in Explore again. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add that preset again back to our SLR Launch 2. So I'm just going to hit Add, SLR Launch 2. So I'm going to call this SLR Web Sized. Hit Create, and now we have the web sized everything, uh, the web sized preset. So if I click print size, you can see it's going to change the folder, it'll change all the settings back to print size. If I click web size, it changes it back to web size and it puts in the web size folder. I'm going to hit export. It's going to bring up our file once it's done. There we go. And now I can see it's been shrunk, it's been sharpened, it looks good, it has our craptastic stamp on it. And we're good guys, that's how you set up a web size or email size export preset.